hello guys in this tutorial we are going to simulate an aka 2412 airfoil and find its lift force drag force and its coefficients so for uh, taking the dimensions of an aka airfoil we are in the site airfoiltools.com and here we can generate the xy coordinates of the airfoil so let's have a maximum number of points and click plot so now we can see the xy coordinates has been printed here we can just copy and paste this data, this, this xy data to a text file. So I have already done that. So this is the serial number and this is the x data and this is the y data and this is the z axis data. Since it's a two dimensional simulation, z axis data is at to zero. So I will also share this data file in my website. And now open ANSYS workbench. Let us drag and drop the fluid flow flowing system inside the workbench. Click the geometry and change that analysis type to 2D. Right click the geometry again and start a new design model at geometry. Here go to concept 3D curve and now we have to select the file that we have already created and click generate. Now you can see the NACA R file 2412 geometry has been imported here. We have to convert this edge into surface. For that, click surface from edges, click this geometry and click apply and click generate. So now the NACA R file has been generated, the geometry has been generated. The next thing is to enclose this inside a fluid domain. So for that we need to create a rectangular domain. Go to XY plane sketching and create a rectangle. And the rectangular domain should be large enough to not to disturb the flow over this airfoil. To ensure that, uh, we need to have at least five times of the card length in the front side, and five times the card length in the lateral sides, and ten times the card length in the rear side. Since the card length is one meter, we are having five meters here. and this should be totally of 10 meters and at the upstream side we need to have at least 5 meters and also the, at the downstream side we need to have at least 15 times the cordial length so that is 15 meters so now we have created the enclosure domain uh, the fluid domain around the NAC IR file and in the next stage that is in the next tutorial we are going to make a change in the angle of attack so for uh, to make the DC we have to create a circle uh, so that we can rotate this uh, blade now rotate this airfoil uh, by using this circle let's make the diameter of the circle as 5 meters and for pitching that is the moving the uh, blades uh, we need to take a center that is one fourth from the leading edge so that's why we are taking zero point two five meters from the front so that is quarter length from the leading side so that should be the center when it is pitching. So now we have to create this sketch into a surface. Go to concept, surface from sketches. Click this head and apply and click generate. Also we need to have a sketch here. Concept, surface from edges. Select this edge and click apply. This line body need not to be carried then. We can suppress the body. We can uh, surface body here, surface body here. So this surface body has to be subtracted from this body. So this thing, the airfoil should be a hollow thing because that's an actually a solid domain. So we need not to have that solid domain in our analysis. And this one, the last one is a circular domain. So what we are going to do is go to create boolean, subtract, target body is the circular domain 
and tool body is the small air foil and now click generate so now that has been removed from the domain so now the geometry is almost ready we have two surface bodies and now let's close the geometry and go to the mesh double click the mesh and you will be entering into the meshing module and now let us name the boundaries this is the inlet so click right click and create the name selection and provide a name as inlet similarly this is the outlet right click and create name selection and name it as outlet and go to box select and select all these edges right click and create name selection air foil and let's give a mesh size of approximately 200 millimeters and click generate now it looks like an average mesh if you want to have very good accurate result we need to have uh, more finer mesh so but uh, in order to have a finer mesh in this particular region that is the blade region we can insert sizing so insert go to mesh and right click and insert sizing already we have selected we have named the boundary as blade so select that airfoil and change to number of divisions and uh, provide a number of division of 500 and now generate mesh we can refine the mesh only around the airfoil ah, yes now we have got a pretty good uh, mesh around the airfoil and in order to identify these domains let us name these domains a circular domain and rectangular domain click the surface selector and click the circular domain right click create name selection and I am naming that as CD circular domain then click the rectangular domain right click and create name selection and naming that as RD rectangular domain now we can close this meshing module right click and update now double click the setup to open ANSYS Fluent and now go to mesh interfaces and double click the contact region and already that is created and click apply and close and go to boundary conditions at the inlet double click and provide a velocity of 7.5 meter per second that is uh, equivalent to a Reynolds number of 5 lakhs And now we are going to do a simple steady state analysis and in the next tutorial we will do a transient analysis with changing in angle of attack. Now go to reference values and compute from inlet. The velocity values that is required for calculating the coefficient is taken from here. Now go to run calculation and provide 200 for number of iterations and click calculate the solution has converged go to graphics contours and pressure contour and click display we can zoom in and we can observe that at the top side the pressure is getting reduced so the lift will take place because of the negative pressure the, the airfoil will be pushed upwards and create a lift and now we need to know the values of the drag force and lift force that is created by this we can also observe a high pressure region here that will create some pressure drag so if you want to know the values of pressure force acting here the force acting in the x axis is the drag force and the force acting, acting in the y axis is the lift force so go to reports 
forces now if the direction x is given as 1 we can uh, plot the x axis force that is drag force so the pressure drag force reported is 0.4 newton and the viscous drag force is 0.38 newton and this is the total drag force in terms of newton and this is the pressure drag coefficient and the viscous drag coefficient and total drag coefficient so these are the data is related to the drag if you make this x0 and y1 we will be getting about the data of lift around the same air foil now i am printing so the lift the pressure lift is 7.2 newton and viscous lift is 0.002 and totally so in this case we are experiencing more lift force so that is the take away from this uh, simulation so then 7 newtons of force is the magnitude is high in uh, lift rather than drag and in the next tutorial we will change the angle of attack and we will see how it varies i hope i have covered most of the things required for the simulation if i missed anything please remind me in comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you